Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team, and today talking about how inflation and interest rates are affecting the real estate market right now. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team, today with my special guest, Neil Schwartz, who's also my broker and a longtime real estate investor. So we wanted to talk a little bit today about inflation, because that's obviously a huge topic of conversation, and also the rising interest rates. And how does that really affect people right now? Okay. Well, that's a really great question, yeah. Melinda. Thank you. And uh, I get this question, I'm telling you, three, four, five times a day, you know, the real estate agents and, uh, and their clients. The, the, the simple situation that we have today is that that last report, we're talking about inflation somewhere around 9%. And then, ooh, inflation so high, so high, so high. Interest rate, 6%. Ooh, so high, so high, so high. Well, it's higher, but I've been in markets over the last 50 years where the interest rates were 20, 22%. I actually bought a house where I was paying 8% on the first trust deed, uh, 20% on a second trustee where I was paying interest only and 22% on a, a, a silence third. Um, and it was, I thought, uh, still as you blend it around, a, a good deal. So, you know, you and Melinda's very well versed in the creative side of the financing today. But understand this, at, if the inflation is 9% and your interest is 6%, that means at some level, real estate is affected in a positive way. If you own the real estate, there's the key, you have to own it, need to get in the business of real estate so that your property values are going up along with the inflation, okay? That's a good thing. And the interest rate at five and a half or 6% today, is lower than the 9% of the inflation. So therefore, you kind of look at it as free money. Now, what I mean by free money is that the government has set it up where home ownership is really a great thing for people that, that can buy uh, property, sell it, trade it up, et cetera, and do that over time. But think about this. Um, your taxes, your interest on your home at some level are deductible. Now, go see a CPA. Don't don't take what I'm saying as gospel, but and Melinda can steer you in, in the direction there. Understand that um, that on a six percent interest at a thirty percent tax bracket, a thirty three percent tax bracket, that a third of the interest you're paying is tax deductible. Uh, simply put, you know there are complications in. That you need to be involved with there. But that means the 6% that you're paying is really 4%. And so if the, in, if the inflation is 9% and you're only paying 4%, that's what I'm referring to as free money. Okay? Get involved. Get started. Don't be afraid of it. Melinda is terrific and her team is terrific on explaining how this works and what you need to know. I mean, ultimately, if they leave the cash in the bank, they're losing money right now. Right, right now. Okay, right. although interest rates that they're paying in the bank are rising some, but most of the money that you can get in the bank, the best deal I've heard, is about 2%. Right. Well, if inflation's 9%, you're potentially losing as much as 7% um, every month. Right. Or every, certainly every year. I mean, you can't. I can't stand that for very long. No, no you need not. to be in the real estate game, whether it's a condo, single family home, duplex, triplex, fourplex, 10 units, whatever it is that you are comfortable with, but get in the game. And we can help you get in the game. So give us a call at 562-316-2915 or melinda at elmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching and please do forward and share this with your friends. 